Hello there and welcome to tonight's episode, we're thrilled to have you with us as we embark on a journey to a place that might not be on everyone's radar but is certainly worth exploring. Tonight we're diving headfirst into the fascinating world of economics. But not just any economics, we're focusing on the unique and intriguing economic landscape of Slovenia. Don't worry, we'll try and keep the boredom to a minimum. Economics can be dry, but when you look at it through the lens of a country's history and culture, it becomes a lot more interesting. Specifically, we're talking about the economic story of Slovenia. This small but mighty nation has a rich history that has shaped its economic landscape in fascinating ways. Now I know what you're thinking, Slovenia, where's that? Is it near Slovakia? It's a common mix-up, but Slovenia is a distinct country with its own identity. And to that I say, yes, geographically, they're practically neighbors. But in terms of culture, history, and economics, they are worlds apart. But trust me, Slovenia has its own unique and surprisingly exciting economic tale to tell. From its vibrant markets to its cultural festivities, there's so much to discover. This tiny nation, nestled in Central Europe, has been through the ringer, economically speaking. Its journey is a testament to resilience and adaptability. Romans, empires, socialism, capitalism, you name it, Slovenia's seen it all. Each era has left its mark on the country's economic fabric. So, buckle up as we journey through time to uncover the economic ups and downs of this little nation that could. From ancient times to modern-day triumphs, Slovenia's economic story is one of perseverance and innovation. Join us as we explore how this small country has navigated the complex world of economics and emerged stronger for it. Our story begins, as many good stories do, with the Romans. These ancient conquerors were not just warriors, they were master builders and strategists. Now these guys weren't exactly known for their stand-up comedy routines, but they did know a thing or two about building an empire. Their architectural prowess and organizational skills were unmatched. And guess what? Slovenia, with its prime location and fertile land, played a starring role. The lush landscapes and strategic positioning made it an invaluable asset to the Roman Empire, the Romans quickly realized that Slovenia was a strategic gem. They saw the potential in its fertile valleys and rolling hills, perfect for agriculture and trade. They established trade routes, built cities looking at you, Ljubljana, and introduced their currency. This integration into the Roman economic system brought prosperity and growth to the region. Wine flowed, olive oil glistened, and the Slovenian economy under Roman guidance was officially on the map. The Romans cultivated vineyards and olive groves, turning Slovenia into a hub of agricultural production. But like all good things, Roman rule eventually came to an end. The decline of the Roman Empire brought significant changes to the region. But fear not, Slovenia's economic story was far from over. The foundations laid by the Romans set the stage for future growth and development, it was just getting started. The legacy of Roman innovation and infrastructure continued to influence Slovenia's economic landscape for centuries to come. The Middle Ages were, let's be honest, a bit of a mixed bag. On the one hand, you had knights, castles, and chivalry. On the other hand, you had the plague, feudalism, and a general lack of indoor plumbing. Slovenia, during this time, found itself under the rule of various empires and kingdoms. But through it all, the seeds of trade and commerce continued to be sown. Salt, mined in the Slovenian mountains, became a hot commodity. Timber, plentiful in its vast forests, was another valuable export. Towns grew, markets bustled, and the Slovenian economy, despite the occasional medieval hiccup, continued to find its footing. Who needs indoor plumbing when you've got a thriving salt trade, right? Fast forward a few centuries, and we arrive at the dawn of the Industrial Revolution. While England was busy inventing the steam engine and starting a global textile frenzy, Slovenia was quietly undergoing its own industrial transformation, Austro-Hungarian style. Under the Austro-Hungarian Empire, Slovenia witnessed the rise of factories, the expansion of mining, and the arrival of wait-for-it railroads. These iron horses connected Slovenia to wider markets, allowing its industries to flourish. From textiles to ironworks, the Slovenian economy was chugging along nicely. Of course, being part of a vast empire had its drawbacks, but hey, at least they had trains. Section 5, Tito's Time, Yugoslavia, and the Quest for Economic Equality. After the chaos of two world wars, Slovenia found itself as a part of Yugoslavia a socialist state led by the one and only Josip Broz Tito. 
This new federation aimed to unite various ethnic groups under a single banner, promoting a sense of brotherhood and unity. Tito, with his trademark military uniform and penchant for smoking pipes, had big plans for Yugoslavia, including Slovenia. He envisioned a self-managed socialist economy where workers had a say in the running of their enterprises. Under Tito's rule, Slovenia experienced significant industrial growth. The government invested heavily in infrastructure, building roads, railways, and factories to boost the economy. Factories churned out everything from cars to washing machines. This industrial boom provided jobs and improved living standards for many Slovenians. Education and healthcare were nationalized, ensuring that all citizens had access to these essential services. The gap between the rich and the poor narrowed as the state redistributed wealth and resources. However, economic disparities between Slovenia and other Yugoslav republics began to emerge. While Slovenia thrived, other regions lagged behind, creating tension within the federation. Slovenia, with its more developed economy, felt held back by its less prosperous neighbors. The republic's advanced industries and higher productivity levels contrasted sharply with the slower development in other parts of Yugoslavia, and so, the seeds of discontent were sown. Slovenians began to question the benefits of remaining in a federation where their economic progress was hindered by the need to support less developed regions. This growing dissatisfaction would eventually contribute to the breakup of Yugoslavia. Section 6. Slovenia's Big Breakup Independence and Economic Reinvention The late 1980s and early 1990s were a time of immense change in Europe. The Berlin Wall fell, the Soviet Union crumbled, and Yugoslavia, well, Yugoslavia went through a messy divorce. In 1991, after a brief but decisive 10-day war, Slovenia declared independence. It was a bold move but one that would pay off. Free from the shackles of a crumbling Yugoslavia, Slovenia embarked on a new economic chapter. Section 7. Joining the Euro Club, Navigating the EU Waters Slovenia, newly independent and eager to embrace a market economy, set its sights on joining the European Union. It was a long and arduous process, filled with bureaucratic hurdles and economic reforms. But in 2004, Slovenia achieved its goal and joined the EU. Three years later, it adopted the euro, bidding farewell to its own currency, the Toler. Membership in the EU brought numerous benefits including access to the single market, increased trade and foreign investment. Section 8. A Modern Economic Success Story, Mostly. Today, Slovenia stands as a modern, high-income economy. Its GDP has grown steadily over the years, its standard of living is impressively high, and its unemployment rate is relatively low. The country has transitioned from a predominantly industrial economy to one driven by services, particularly tourism. Its picturesque landscapes, charming towns, and delicious cuisine attract visitors from far and wide. However, like all economies, Slovenia faces its fair share of economic challenges. Section 9. The Graying of Slovenia an age-old problem. One of Slovenia's most pressing issues is its rapidly aging population. Low birth rates and increased life expectancy have resulted in a shrinking workforce and a growing strain on social security systems. The government is well aware of this demographic challenge and has implemented various policies to address it, including encouraging immigration and promoting family-friendly policies. However, the graying of Slovenia remains a significant and ongoing concern for the nation. Section 10. Innovation is key staying ahead of the economic curve. In today's rapidly evolving global economy, innovation is key to staying ahead of the curve. Slovenia, with its highly educated workforce and tradition of technological prowess, is well positioned to become a leader in innovation. The government has invested heavily in research and development, and Slovenian companies are making strides in fields such as robotics, artificial intelligence, and renewable energy. By fostering a culture of innovation, Slovenia aims to secure its economic future. Section 11 Slovenia's Economic Future Small Nation Big Potential From its humble beginnings as a Roman outpost to its current status as a modern EU member state, Slovenia's economic journey has been nothing short of remarkable. Like any nation, it faces challenges. But its resilience, adaptability, and unwavering determination to succeed bode well for its economic future. Slovenia may be small in size, but its economic potential is anything but. So, the next time you hear someone ask, Slovenia, where's that? 
you can confidently tell them, oh, it's just a little country with an incredibly fascinating economic history, and maybe throw in a joke about salt trade for good measure.